So New Zealand, say hello to the amazing band of magicians. You're the first person who said that right. Everyone says magicians, so we're very happy. <laughs> that <laughs> that <laughs> that <laughs> that <laughs> Thank you. It's amazing what Christchurch can teach you. They teach you proper English there. Yeah. Um, so, uh, boys, welcome to New Zealand. Thank, Thank you. you. Um, we're very happy to be here. Yeah, it's very. It's a pleasure to have you on What Now as well. Now, guys, I mean, coming to a magic show, uh, first up, one magician, incredible, four magicians out of this world. Yep. Is it, is it difficult trying to out-magic each other? Does that go on at all? I think that's how we got into it in the first place. We were all trying to, you know, come up with great tricks and we'd sit around, you know, when yeah. we were in each of the same city and we were hanging out in Los Angeles. We were like, oh, that's awesome. This is awesome. This is awesome. Wait, we should put this all together and Band of Magicians was the result. And we, was it, we can achieve so much more yeah. together. That is so cool. You think one magician times it by four. <laughs> That's so cool. Like, who came up with the name though? Band of Magicians. I think I, I was to tossing up with a few names to begin with. Several were not great, and Band of Magicians was, I think, the most fun. When we were sending out a few names, and we all went, "Yeah, yeah, that's pretty damn cool." Yeah, James yes. Galea and Friends didn't. Yeah, it didn't work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, I like that. It's like boy band meets, you know, magicians. Yeah, we are looking for someone with a, uh, a backward cap too. So if you know of anyone that could. Hey! Hey! Oh. Oh, don't don't, don't <laughs> do that to me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know this one. Yeah. That's pretty good. Doesn't look so good from this angle, but I'm sure the folks at home are wondering and thinking, how did he do it? Damn it! I've worked on that for ages. Now, um, I want to get into uh, some individual questions, boys. Uh, Go ahead, James. That is James. me, James. So, uh, so you're you're from Australia? Originally from Sydney, yeah. You're from Sydney, and um, so I've got to look at my questions for this one. That's all right. Um, so, so from, from the top, right? yep. Why do you always wear a hat? <laughs> Good question. Oh, that was actually yes. on the card. No, I'll answer a question. Good question. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, <laughs> Go ahead. All right, no, okay, so James, yes, you do. You, you are from Australia. Yeah, from Sydney. But, but you also call America home as yes. well. Um, and and you've, you've met a, a few famous people here and there. Yep. If you could, um, if you could perform for anyone in the, in the past or present, yep. which celebrity would you perform for? I reckon um, oh, has to be definitely Ronnie from What Now. I think that was been my highlight and wanting to, so I'm very excited to be able to do that Stop. now. Stop. You're hired. You're hired, buddy. There we are. Stop it. Stop it. That's, that's so um, and of course... <laughs> Okay, boys, like you've all performed for like big time uh, TV shows um, in, in the past. Um, now, what's, what's the appeal of a live stage show? Well, the cool thing is when you see stuff on TV, mm -hmm. people always think, oh, those magicians are using actors, mm -hmm. stooges, it's all fake, it's all camera tricks. The great thing is when it's live, we use loads of people out the audience and you can see it for real and know that what you're seeing is actually happening. It's not a camera trick. And that makes it completely different to doing TV magic. And uh, like, that, that, that's, that's a beautiful concept. I was just wondering, like comedians get hecklers, do magicians get hecklers? Y yeah. yeah. And how do you deal with them? Uh, we <laughs> make we, them we kill them. <laughs> oh, sorry, that's a better way of saying it. <laughs> Be gone. We bring them up on stage and put them in that box. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> and, and they're gone. It is interesting because I think people come to magic uh, shows for a very different reason. Some yeah. people want to come and they just want to be amazed. Other yeah. people come and want to try to figure it out. And other yeah. people come you know, with their boyfriend or girlfriend and you want to go, oh, I'll show you how it's done. And then they come and they get annoyed if they don't work it out. Yeah. So then they make up things and then they try to heckle and, you know. And then that's you take their girlfriend. Yeah, that's, yeah, of course. That's it. So ben got <laughs> <laughs> Which he talks about in the show, actually. Yeah, oh, really? yeah I do, yeah. Um, so basically, yeah, I got into magic because I just thought I'd try and speak to girls at school and ended up making a job out of it, which yeah. is quite good. So now he gets to speak to 1600 every night. And, and you know, <laughs> yeah. That's a lot numbers. of numbers to memorize. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's cool. Now, how did the rest of you guys um, get into magic? Like, what, do you remember when your first magic trick was? Well, I actually do a routine in the show, mm -hmm. which is my first ever illusion and my favorite. And I'm gonna bring a boy up on stage. He's gonna be about 10 or 11 years old. And I'm gonna teach him and or her how to do my first ever illusion. Yeah, it happens live oh, it's on stage. It, it, it's amazing to watch. Oh, it's a cool. lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. and Brett yeah. has an interesting story too. Yeah, my f my my first trick. I actually talk about it in the show yeah. also, where I, I took a bean yeah. and I made it disappear by shoving it up my nose. Which was his first magic trick. Yeah, it's and very impressive. Who who was who, who was lucky enough to see that very ma uh, first trick? You have to come to the show to figure oh. out. Oh, <laughs> so that's right. oh. Yeah. there's a lot more to that story. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
And, and, and yourself, James? I think my, my, my first ever trick, I'm sure, was something terrible. Like, it wasn't a great card trick. Mm -hmm. um, but I kept practicing. I loved watch, I loved playing cards. Mm -hmm. I loved, you know, always having them in my hands and shuffling and shuffling. And then I, I met a magician who took me under his wing. Mm -hmm. And it was, like, the coolest thing ever to be able to, you know, to wish to be in a theatre like this. And this theatre that we're in, um, and the theatres we're in all over New Zealand, they're mm -hmm. all, you know, very special in their yeah. own way. So it's exciting to be in them. And this is exactly why we got into it in the first place. So yeah. we hope people will come along and, and watch all of us do our thing. Um, do but it. we thought we'd show you something. Um, to start off with, I'm yeah. going to do. Oh, yes. you know, everyone oh. does, does card tricks. <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> I'm looking forward to this. Well, everyone does card tricks. Well, I'm just going to get you. To just, uh, first things first. I yep. just want you to see. You can see that all the cards are different, right? Yep. No two cards are alike. In just a second, I'm going to get you to take one out. Don't let me see okay. what it is. Go ahead. Yep. I don't want to see. If I see it, the trick's not going to work. Okay. okay. Don't let me see it. Um, show the camera. Don't show the other guys because they could tell me what it is. All right. You remember your card, right? Yep. We're going to find it in a very special way. Now watch very closely. We're just going to place it here for okay. a second. Now um, hold out your right hand. We're going to find your card in a special way, just like this. All right. You remember your card, right? If I flick yes. it like this, it brings your card on top. Your card, Ronnie, was the, uh, what was it? It was, a, it was a black card. It was high. It was the, uh, the, the ace of uh, clubs. Ace of clubs, yep? No, no, no. Spades. Ace of spades. No. It's cherry colors, right? Are you joking? It or not? No, no. It was then did you see? Stop messing not? about, Ronnie. Tell no, us the truth. I'm serious. It was. It was. Uh, come on, you got. You guys saw that. What was your card? It was. It was King of Have Diamonds. What? <laughs> <laughs> it's just. <laughs> Ronnie's having a good time. Um, Ronnie, what I can't understand though is um is how it works. Is um just say magically change. M magically change. Yeah, it was very easy how yeah. to do that, and that's yeah. the fun part of this. But when you want to make it go back, that's the easy part. If you watch like this, you see how most magicians wear long sleeves. Yeah. I can flick it and make it change anytime I want. Now, Ronnie, the fun part is this: hold out your hand nice and flat. Uh, Brett and I are going to do a little something here, and the boys are going to help out too. Now, one, two, three, four, five cards. Five fingers, five cards. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. You can see your card there, right? Yes. Put your other hand on top. Ben, tell them what's going to happen. Gone. Gone. Check it out. Lift up. Count five cards. Face up one at a time onto my hand. One, that's not your card. One. Two, that's not your card. Three, that's not your card. And four, it's not there. Did you see where it went? <laughs> that guy took it. No, I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I took it. Just put it inside it, your left pocket. Yeah. Seriously, have a look. I'm just kidding. That would have been amazing. Oh, oh my gosh, <laughs> it does. But, um... You're not going to believe where it is. You're, okay. you're actually yeah. sitting on it. Really? Seriously, uh, Ronnie, get up. Oh. Come on! That was... That's all right. <laughs> that, that, that was... All right. yeah. Can I keep this? You can keep yeah, it. That is for you. We'll sign we up for you at the end of the show. That, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you have for lunch, yeah. Ronnie? Oh, sorry. It's warm it was a and greased. <laughs> yeah. We're in for you. Go for your questions. Yeah. That was good. <laughs> So I, I had it all planned out, and now it's just like, bam! All my questions have vanished from my head. <laughs> now, um, okay, um, okay, I'm gonna go. Ben, Ben. Yes. Now you've you uh, you have your own um, you had your own uh, magic uh, show in Still the UK. Have. Yeah, yeah. Called yeah. Tricks. Tricks. Yeah. And where, whereby you get to uh, play pranks on yeah. celebrities. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, well, what's it, what's it like meeting up with celebrities now in the in the everyday life? Um, do they not trust you well, anymore? No, they don't. So I uh, <laughs> it was cool, it's cool because I basically yeah, get to to prank celebrities. So now whenever I see them, they always think that I'm somehow filming them and I'm about to do a prank, and I just have to explain that I'm not and I'm having a day off. Uh, but no, it was cool. It was it's been good. I, I saw, um, I did something with Kim Kardashian last year, Ooh. and uh, yeah, she was not expecting the trick that I did to her, <laughs> which um, it's on YouTube, you'll have to check it out. But oh. yeah. Oh, that, is, that sounds insane. Kim Kardashian! Yeah. It's like just casually, just dropping that name there. Yeah, that's so I picked that, that up. Okay. <laughs> I will. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry love, about that. I love that. Okay, um, to, uh, to Brit. Yeah. Uh, now, you're known for your ability to swallow. Swords. Yes. Insane, first of all. Yeah. Um, and everyone at home, do not try that at home. Do not try this at home. Brett is a professional, and there's no lozenger in the world that could ever heal the sore throat that you have from practicing. He'll die. He'll die. Yeah, okay. Oh, he'll die. So it, <laughs> is, <laughs> kids, there you go, kids. Don't learning do great things from band of magicians. <laughs> <laughs> just, just wondering there. How, how did you get into sword swallowing of all things? Like, so when I, when I was young, I, you know, I got bit by the the magic bug, and yeah. I, I learned all the tricks that I could, and then I discovered these weird stunts that people weren't doing. Yeah. So I would, I would look through books and find these old time carnival people that knew how to do these things. And they, were, they taught me how to do them. So when I was about 15, I, I learned how to swallow swords. 
15. Yeah, over yeah. the phone. Over the phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I call, I called a guy and yeah. I said, hey, will you, will you teach me how to do this? I said, yeah, sure. The whole sword down the throat? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. And this was, this was before Skype or anything like that. Yeah. So it, it was really just, was on the phone. it was just talking on, over the phone. Jeez. So we thought yeah. we'd uh, do that with you after the break <laughs> yeah. and uh, see how we go. Uh, no, no, not this guy. <laughs> food. I can swallow food. No, yeah. nothing else. Is it, is it a mission trying to bring your, your, your weapons of, of magic? It's actually quite a funny story. When <laughs> like, he, we, were, we, for the first time, were traveling internationally yeah. and he travels with swords. That literally just says swords on the case. <laughs> so as you can imagine, going through New Zealand customs, that was a, quite <laughs> was a, a challenging question. Yeah. for him. Quite a few questions. Uh, but they're probably more familiar with it in New Zealand. Swords coming in and out, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. The, yeah. Lord of the Rings and things oh, like that. Yeah. Oh yeah. You're one of those guys. Okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Once in France, I uh, the the police stopped me yeah. at the the Eurostar, and I had to open the case and. On an x-ray machine, it looks very scary. I thought you, you know? said the police came to stop me and you said, No! <laughs> <laughs> you shall not pass! But, so I just, all I had to do was grab one of my swords, shove it down my throat, and they go, Oh! Welcome! Okay, welcome yeah, 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 yeah. That is insane. Yeah. That is, probably, <laughs> that is, so, that is cool. Um, so I, I thought, like, what, what, is there an excuse that you use? Like, would you play pranks with them? As in, I am a master chef. These are my... Uh, no, typically no, swallow it. You can't top swallow it. That's true. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. That's true. That's true. Okay. Um, moving along. I just dropped my card. All right then. Um, to, no, to James. Yes. Um, now you, I've already asked you that question. To James and Adam. Mm-hmm. James and Adam. Um, now you're both Australians. Yeah. Do you like rugby by any chance? Watch a bit of rugby. Oh, that's I, so, I used to so play that. rugby when I was 14. Okay. But, you know, I'm not the biggest bloke, so I used to get beaten up quite a lot. And that's how all of us became, became magicians. magicians. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Like, I was just wondering. Speaking oh, yes. of rugby, you've got yes. the World Cup coming to London, my hometown. It's what, true. Do you think you guys are going to win? Oh, well, we did make the uh, Bledisloe Cup disappear from these guys. So. Oh! oh. So was it was all so nice <laughs> so, <laughs> for so long, and then you took it there and wow, it's wonderful. Please, please, please be my friends on Facebook. No, we... Now, to Ben. To Ben. Yeah. Now, yes, you, you mentioned that you did start um, on YouTube. Yep. Um, and on your way for, to being uh, famous, mm. a famous magician, you worked with kids on TV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So we got um, an English uh, kids channel in England called CBBC. Yep. So I was doing a similar job to what you were doing, and then during the interviews, I'd do magic as well. Wait, is, was there any time, like, during like a live, the live show that you just wanted to disappear into the fall? Because on what now, live things go wrong every, every Sunday, and you just got to... Either roll with it or... Yeah, sometimes. Um, so I used to work with this um, puppet and um, it would just deliberately mess me up during live links and like shove custard pies in my face and throw drinks on me when I wasn't expecting it and I just end up having to still carry on with doing the TV with stuff all over me, yeah. Which is yeah. why we have four custard pies here at the moment, Ronnie, <laughs> to uh, end our segment. Oh, <laughs> Oh really? No. Uh, oh, <laughs> it's just like that's how we end our segment on Sundays. Yeah, that's really cool. Now, okay, okay, you guys boys. Do the custard pie thing. Over we there? do a, what we call a foam pie. Yeah, yeah, a yeah. foam pie, and uh, also we have gunge and right. foam gun, oh. and kids just love it. They come every every Sunday, like <laughs> foam me, foam me. You got to be careful, I guess. Yeah, for yeah um, reasons. They're, they're, well, they actually no, they're just the kids in New Zealand are ruthless. They're, so they'll, they'll just get in front of it. They'll like ah. <laughs> They're, wow, they're, they're really good, right. really good like that. Um, Are you coming to see our show, Ronnie? I would love to well, come. We and see hope your very shows. much that you're going to come. Hold on, that was a yes. That was a, I that would love. I would love to if I didn't have to fly back to Christchurch at five o'clock this afternoon. No, no, we're, coming, we're going we're to Christchurch. Christ oh, then I am definitely yeah. coming to your show. <laughs> yeah. So come and no. come and see Ronnie and Band of Magicians yes, in Christchurch. Yes, uh, you can check our Facebook page and our Twitter page and obviously the What Now website to be able to see where we're going to be. And we would love you all to come along and watch us do some amazing magic together. And we might even bring Ronnie up on stage. No promises. Yes, and on that note, thank you so thank much. Thank you very, very much, Ronnie. For giving up your time Cheers, to come down and uh, fifth band member. Thank you. Yes, I made it. You made it. Beat that One Direction. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. So there you go. Thank you so much, boys. And uh, it was a pleasure. Thank you pleasure very much, mate. Uh, oh, all of you. Oh, oh, is, there, is there something cheers, that magicians mate. say to end the performance? Like yes, goodbye. Uh, good. <laughs> goodbye. Thanks very oh, much, Ronnie. Thank you so much. Cheers, mate. Pleasure.